grind, I knew I would make it. Thought we were forever, but you know you're clever, so you would do shit like just lie in my face. Never knew my heart is severed, I don't Okay, what's up? Um, today I'm gonna be teaching you how to edit like yarn, LMGK, Numby, all those top tier editors. So yeah, let's get into it. So first, you're gonna want to import all your clips. So right now, I have some. I have three clips that I'm gonna use. You're gonna just drag it into your timeline, and once you drag it into your timeline, you're gonna go to your sequence settings. So right here, if you are playing on stretched res, you're gonna want to change this back to a default resolution so that's 1920 by 1080 and just copy the rest uh, of these and check these two just press ok and so you realize when you have stretched it'll create black bars on the sides and maybe even the bottom if you guys can see right here so you're gonna uncheck uniform scale uh, you're gonna find whatever works for you right so height i change it to 101 and then 116 and this all depends on your res sorry yeah this all it's it's guess and check once you change all your height and width settings and you're gonna go to wherever you want your clip to start and if you have three audio tracks like i do the bottom one is free mic and the top one is free game sound so i get rid of my mic sounds typically so you just highlight unlink and then delete it press c and click where your playhead is and it'll cut your audio and your video and just delete both you're gonna highlight this and drag it to the left and so as you see so this is the clip so you're gonna you could hold and drag the ends and so this is you have your whole whatever four second clip so now what you're going to want to do before you add songs, what I like to do is time remap it before. So you're going to hold alt and drag up on your video. With we'll right click your clip, show clip keyframes, time remapping and speed. Once you do that, you're going to want to go 30 seconds before you, or sorry, 30 frames before you get the kill. So I get the kill right here. So I'm going to go back 30. To make this easier, hold shift and your left arrow and click it six times. Each time you click shift and left arrow, that is five frames. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Once you do that, press C and cut your clip. Press V to go back to selection tool. And now you're gonna want to, to have a plugin called Twixter. There are plenty of places where you can get it and search up twixter pro drag it on the second half of the clip and right here if this happens you're going to want to Control z right click your clip and press nest it's okay and then drag it on and you shouldn't have the problem anymore now we're going to do a typical velocity edit i'll teach you two styles that are commonly used in montages i'm going to set a speed keyframe i'm going to go up and the moment these numbers get fully formed, I'm gonna type 250 and I'm gonna go two frames out and 50. So now this is what it looks like. Like that. So as you see, it's like a, it speeds up whatever you have. Um, if you don't like the way the audio syncs because it will be out of sync, just drag it a little and as you can see, it syncs. Now I'm going to teach you how to do a different stuff. So you're going to go keep your 30 frame clip, add a keyframe at the beginning, go in one, two, three, four, five frames and set this down to 40. Now I'm going to teach you guys a different type of key remapping. You're going to go to the beginning of your 30 frame split clip, add a keyframe, go five frames in. Remember you could hold shift and right arrow and lower this down to 40. After that, you're going to want to go to where you are about to shoot your weapon. And then you're going to set another keyframe and go to right after those numbers appear clearly. So that's like around right here. And then I'm going to change it to 250. While recording, I forgot to show how to add slow-mo to the clip. 
So right after this 250% speed keyframe, go two frames to the right and change the value to 50%. My bad. Now I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a second version of this velocity edit that is commonly used in edits. I'm gonna go into your 30 second split clip. I'm gonna set a keyframe here, go in 10 frames, one, two. Or make it shift and then right arrow key. Lower this down to 50%. You're gonna go to where you kill him, aka when the kill shows, or whenever the numbers are clearly visible. Change this to 250. And we actually forgot something. You're gonna go somewhere in the middle of this clip, some somewhere right here, and change this back to 40. So now you could see it goes from 100% to to 50, then to 40, and then right here it speeds up to 200, and right after that you're gonna want to change it to 50 or 100. I'm gonna change it to 100 because as you could see, after I kill him, it already slows down to the victory. But typically you want to change it to around 50. So now that I have a song on the timeline, you can mark the beat drops to make it easier, and mark wherever you get the kill to make it easier as well. So I'm gonna just put a marker up here. I'm gonna slide the audio because remember we did time remap it, so it's gonna be off sync. And now this is what it looks like. So that's just a simple time remap edit. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do the yarn shockwave effect. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do next is import this shockwave effect, put it right above your kill. So that's like right here. And you're gonna wanna click, double click it, make it fit your screen. You wanna click this and change the blend mode to lighten. After doing that, right click this, speed and duration, change that to 700%. So it'll be much quicker. Now you're gonna wanna go to BCC LED and drag that on to the shockwave and change the LED size to three. That's how I like mine. And as you could see, this is what it looks like so far. So after that, you're gonna wanna do a typical sat light. So that's what this is what this looks like. You're gonna put it on. It's really up to you. Both clips, wherever you want it to start. I like to start it right here. So you're gonna go to the beginning. Minimize this. You're gonna change, you're gonna keyframe the saturation to go to negative 100. And so as you can see, you're gonna hold Alt and drag this up so it'll duplicate. You're gonna get rid of hue sat lightness. You're gonna wanna select your top clip, press opacity. You're gonna make this like into a circle by dragging this in the middle. Put it up. You're gonna keyframe the mask expansion to match your shockwave effect. And go in a couple more frames. Push it up a little. Go to the end. Put it up. You're gonna Trim it to match the shock loop. So as you see, you have a simple clip with the shockwave and the yarn shockwave effect. So now for the next clip, you're gonna want to do the same thing. If you have stretch res, and uncheck uniform scale, and put in the same value as you did for the last clip. So then you're gonna want to mark the clip right where you get the kill and you could do the same twixter effect that you did before or you could do a different twixter effect it's really up to you you're gonna go back 30 frames once again i'm gonna cut it by pressing c add twixter pro nest it if it has that orange screen all right so now you're gonna want to go you're gonna want to add a keyframe just as you're about to shoot your weapon. You're gonna go in as the numbers appear like this, change it to 250. Just enter, and you're gonna go in two frames or so, and change the value to 50. Now you have an effect 
that looks something so you and if you want to make the default and if you want to speed up the clip back to its original um, velocity you could just add a keyframe after and type through 100 and you'll have something like this now to finish everything off you're gonna add a little swoosh so change the level to around negative 8 and then you're gonna duplicate this by holding alt and dragging and once you're done with that this is what it looks like now i'm going to show you guys some effects that people use quite often in most montages you're going to search up s underscore glow you're going to split the clip right as you get the kill right here you're going to add it onto the second half of the clip scroll down to wherever you have s glow you're going to change the brightness sorry you're going to keyframe the brightness just like this and go in wherever you want the glow to end and change it to zero so now you have this white glow which kind of looks a little weird so you're going to change the color to a purple color this is what lmgk uses and as you see it adds a purple glow if you guys want it to last longer you could drag this keyframe to the right and now you're free to change the threshold the width everything but these are just the settings that I use. Typically, your threshold varies based off of clip. And the more white there is on the clip, the more it will glow. So if, so if you want there to be less glow, you're gonna wanna increase the threshold. If you want there to be more glow, you're gonna wanna decrease it, as you can see. It's quite subtle, but it does wonders. Next, I'm also gonna show you guys how to muffle audio. And you're gonna wanna go here, so go to the song, cut wherever you want it to muffle. I want this portion to muffle. You're gonna search out low pass, drag it onto your clip, keyframe your cutoff somewhere right here. So this should be your default value. You're gonna go to the beginning of the clip and change this to 5,000. And this is what you have. You see it added a clean little muffle effect another thing that you could add is something called leave color you're gonna want to drag this on to both of these clips you're gonna keyframe it to start with the low pass that you added so you're gonna change this from 0 to 100 right here you're gonna want to select a color that your skin has so it's blue keep in mind this works for this works better for some skins compared to others like this superhero skin is it quite red so you could leave the red color on whereas this crystal it's blue there's a lot of things that are blue on the screen so right here this is what it looks like so after you put leave color on this clip you want to do it for this nested thing here too all you're going to want to do is select this and change this to 100 percent and this is what you have hopefully this video helped you out a little bit and yeah i'm out peace I thought we were forever, but you know you're clever, so you would do shit like just lie in my face. Never, 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 never